Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that this figure here shows a plan view of a garden. The plan of the garden, A, B, C, D, E, consists of a triangle, A, B, E, joined to a sector, B, C, D, E, of a circle with radius of 12 metres and a centre at B. And the points A, B and C lie on a straight line with AB being 23 metres and BC being 12 metres. Given that the size of angle ABE is 0.64 radians, you've got to find the area of the garden. Given your answer in square metres to one decimal place for four marks. So, as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, if we're to work out the area then of the garden, we first of all need to, say, work out the area of the triangle and then work out the area of the sector and add those two areas together. Now, when it comes to working out the area of the sector, we're going to need this angle here, EBC, an obtuse angle. And to do that, all we need to do is, knowing that in half a turn, that's pi radians, it's just going to be pi minus 0.64. OK? If you do do that on your calculator, pi minus 0.64 equals... 2.5015 and that will be measured in radians okay so we'll just put rads there okay so let's just start then with the area of the triangle the area of the triangle here we've got two sides we've got 23 meters and 12 meters and we've got an included angle. So for this, you should be familiar with this formula that the area of a triangle where you have two sides and an included angle is equal to half AB sine of the angle C. So for this one, it's going to be a half of, say, 23 times the 12 times the sine of the included angle, which is 0.64 radians. Okay? Next, I'm going to add the area of the sector here, E, B, C, D, OK? And for that, we take the angle, so that would be 2.5015 and so on. Or you could obviously leave it as pi minus 0.64 radians. And this angle, we compare to a complete turn, which will be 2 pi radians. And this gives us the fraction of the area now of a complete circle. So it would be times for of pi r squared, pi times the radius squared, 12 squared. So that would be the area of the sector. You could cancel out the pi's and you get a familiar formula which you might have gone straight to and that is the angle multiplied by the radius squared divided by 2. Some people call it half r squared theta. Anyway, if you work these two out, make sure that you have your calculator in radians mode for this calculation here. You'll find for this area of the triangle, you get 82.412 and so on. And then the area of the sector, well, that turns out to be 180.114 and so on. And if you add those two together, you end up with 262.527 and so on. And rounding that to the accuracy that was asked for, one decimal place, that's going to be 262.5. And the units will be square metres. And I'll just put there to one decimal place, one DP for short. Okay.